okay, I don't normally make these kind of videos talking about specials, weapons, their stuff coming out, just kind of like early stuff at launch when stuff is real on Twitter or something like that. But I just got home from college and I find that Splashdown is returning. And boy oh boy, <laughs> does it look interesting for a rework. Like, it's. I'll just get forward a little bit. Like, it's basically the Splashdown, but with two added fists ahead of you. Which I think is actually insane. There's an example of it here. It's actually, like, maybe not good, but it looks insane. And I'm really interested to see what it's like. I, I, I don't even know how good it's going to be, but we're going to get into that in just a moment. So, for those that are unaware, Splashdown, yeah, I need to actually get into a level that has Splashdown. Give me a second. Yeah, Splashdown. A special on Splatoon 2 that was not that good, if anything. And, and it, even after like several reworks, a few nerfs and buffs and reworks, it just didn't get anywhere. It was so poor in design that it was really only used for, um, what call it? It was really only only used for something like it was really only, only used for super jumping in. And yeah, it was very bad. But I'll talk about it in a minute. It's gonna be on Imperi and Custom Blaster with Imperi getting Curling Bomb and Custom Blaster getting Sensor, which is not that great for it. <coughs> Sorry about that. But basically, this was what you had in Splatoon 2 a giant splash, which, well, splash down. Giant explosion. So superhero pose, pretty much. You just go bang, hit the ground. And yeah, it basically did what it does. Or does what it does. It just lands on the ground and it just sla comes slamming down. Now, the problem that I have with the rework is that if the outside hitboxes are just as weak, then it's gonna be pretty bad still. That's my only concern. Although I will admit, I am genuinely excited. In my first playthrough of the Splatoon 3 story mode, I was like, Yay, Splashdown is back! And yet, here it is, back in the main game. I should get out of here quickly. And it was like, insane, man. So, the radius looks massive for what you can do with it. It looks insane, like, this is on Bluefin. The tower is here. You can hit so far away with it. Although, I think that's the radius that the fists can land. I'm not too sure, though. We'd have to see it when it actually comes out, because it's hard to tell with the quality video we got right here on the Wikipedia. Although, right here... Oh, where was that? There was a club I, I remember seeing it. Right here... Like, Splashdown does activate. And it does seem like... I mean, you do get... It does seem like the radius is decently large. Like, when you come down the first one... The, you got... Wait, what is that? That's probably... That's probably like... 60 damage at most, I think. It looks like 60 damage, just by the judging of the the splash in the corner of this, like, up here. It looks like, when the first splash in lands, it looks like it's about 50, maybe 60 damage. I don't know. Might be a bit over the margin. If it's 40, then that's not that great. But, yeah, it's, like, just insane in general. But I'm not too sure how to think about it. I don't think it's going to be that insane, but I hope for it. I'll definitely be covering it in my video of like my day one video about the um we call it the special itself. But yeah, I just it'll be an interesting one, to say the least. It seems like right here that the fists do come up from like the front and it will always be on front of you. But the radius looks pretty big. I don't know if that I think that is the same as what you had before in Splatoon 2. Although I'm not entirely sure. It looks pretty decent for it. Although, if I had to make one assumption to what it's kind of going to be like, I think it's going to be more... I don't know if it's going to be better than Reef Slider, if I quickly get Reef Slider up. Because Reef Slider in the recent days have got, like, they've got buffed. It's got buffed quite a bit. And now the radius, like, if I just pop it... Okay, maybe not that big, but just I'm just out of the radius. The radius is actually huge for Reef Slider now, in terms of a Sour Spot. And that's a 70 damage. 
granted, you are putting yourself directly in the, directly in the line of fire, but you've got a giant hitbox. Like I, this is where I was right here. This is where I stood. This is where it went off, and the seventy percent, the seventy damage went all the way over here. It is a huge hitbox for Reef Slider, and for Splashdown to be comprehensible to that, it's got to do at least like. It's, it seems pretty large. It seems like the radius is going to be about maybe there at most, including both fists, I think. I don't know how big it's going to be in terms of a sweet spot or surf spot. No idea how I can get the damage. Like, I can't get accurate da da or sorry, I can't get accurate measurements for damage, but it just seems like it's going to be a little bit weaker than that. However, I will cover it when I go through the weapons on my day one video, just in general. And the last thing I'm going to mention, which is more or less a tangent from what well, is, is a tangent from that of the returning splashdown and that is the blue fin which was originally a one-sided zone so like if i click over here if you had them a stage like this will be a split in the middle for blue fin the stone the zone will be over here or if you're on bravo team or apple team you will be on the other side and the left side was completely useless it was more used as a flank now it moves between the sides. It's on a shifting platform, which is actually insane. I think this is actually the first stage in general for any Splatoon stage, to my knowledge. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure of it. This is the, the, the first Splatoon stage in the entire series to have a moving zone, I think. I can't remember. Sorry, I'm sorry if I got it wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is the first to ever actually happen. And that is really cool to think about. So Bluefin might not be as scuffed as what I, well, what people might think as. And I'm really, really looking forward to play on that stage, as well as the Robo Remen stage, or Robo Ramen, or Robo Rom, Robo Rem, whatever you want to call it, the, Ro the, the Ramen stage. And yeah, <laughs> it, I think this season's gonna be a good one. I really, I'm looking forward to it, and I hope you guys be excited for the ride as well, because I am definitely gonna be uploading a video when it comes out as soon as I can. Which I think is on the is it's the Friday, isn't it? Dang. Okay. Well, yeah. I'll be sure to make a video on that, and I'm gonna be really excited to see what this special can do. Do things be, do things can be better in general? Like, actually, no, probably not. But I wanna I wanna have my hopes. Okay. I have a slight bit in me that's hoping out for it, and yeah, I will hopefully have my wish come true and splash down actually being good. If not, then I'll just have to, have to work with Kimperi, get in Curling Bomb, and see our, or just CB get in Sensor. Yeah. Anyways, that's pretty much what I want to say. Pretty short video today. Just want to make sure of that and just kind of speak about it. Because I know some long-time viewers will remember that I do main splash. I did main V-Brush in the other game in Splatoon 2, and that has splash turn. So I thought I'd make a video on it, because you guys might be interested in it. But anyways, that's enough of me rambling. Bit of a tangent, sorry. Anyways. Um, yeah, that's what, pretty much all I want to say. Thanks guys for watching. I will see you in the next video when the season drops. Later, guys.